218 sunset. Quiet street, low traffic. All the houses are pretty well kept. It's quiet in the front and the back. You can hear a little bit of highway traffic, but nothing bad. We have a driveway that goes back pretty far. Two or three cars. It's in good shape. The leaves are kind of covering it. There's no cracks on the driveway. The roof on the front looks good. No damaged shingles. There's a few shingles that bow up a little bit, but it doesn't look to be structural damage or any kind of issue with the roof. And the brick and siding all look in good shape. Around the back, there's three sheds that all look pretty old and beat up. Here, number two, and one over there. Excuse me. It's a little bit small backyard. Backs up to a line of woods. And then you look through the woods, you can see the 7-Eleven out on Furnace Branch. So it is Furnace Branch that runs behind us, but you can't hear it too bad. Back side of the roof, similar, don't see much damage. But there is a leak on the inside, and shingles look a little bit old. Neighbors are well kept on both sides. Over that way behind us is a new um, complex as they've just recently put in. Old ream unit and lots of overgrow. You can't walk through this part of the yard to get to the front yard, but this siding looks good. And the back deck. The awning looks almost brand new. All the wood looks very new. And the actual deck part just needs a little bit of cleanup. It's in pretty good shape. Basement access here. Front walkway needs work. well as the front stoop. Railing needs work. Here's the front door. A nice large living area. It's mostly drywall on this level, some paneling, textured ceilings. Big, big open living area. Bedrooms over there to the right. Kitchen straight back to the left. Uh, dining kitchen combined here. Not very big for a dining room and a kitchen, but the stairway right there is going to make it hard to open up any more than it already is. Windows are extremely dirty. Some uh, issues around the trim. And 
Probably need all new cabinets here and everything. All new tile. The plumbing throughout the house looks like copper and looks alright. Uh, some small repairs. Go over to the two bedrooms here and the full bath. Go back to the full bath first actually. Some of the tiles broken there. The rest of it looks okay. This is where the leak from the ceiling from the roof looked like it was. Um, I can't, couldn't really see it from the outside. And this is the only spot that's noticeable on the inside. There is some, there's one spot where the wood bows up underneath of this wood panel floor. There's regular wood floor. And I don't know if you can tell, it's sticking up. And it follows over into this room where it also sticks up a little bit. Right here. I pulled this carpet back, you can't really see much. Except for, yeah. Wood floor coming up out of put out of its place. Here's some plumbing I see too, so I don't really understand. This might have been washer or dryer maybe, but I'm not sure. It's a bedroom, one of the two bedrooms up here. Decent sized bedroom, closet. like some possible water damage again around the trim of the window. Like I said, these windows are very dirty and old. They might be salvageable and clean, be able to clean them up, but you might need to be replaced. And the second bedroom, this one might be a little bigger, maybe about the same size. It's all paneling in here. And built-in closet. Looks like again around the corners of the windows there's some water damage. In the basement. Lots of mold down here and paneling. It's a good sized living area though. Mold on that wall, mold on this wall, mold everywhere. Back this way, it looks like they had a second kitchen. But, it's just a little, maybe laundry room area or something. You got a hot water heater, which, you got it. Somehow close just off with a screw gun. I can't see the bottom. I'm gonna assume it needs to be replaced. It's real rusty up here. Got coppers coming off of it though, looks alright. And a very old stab lock panel. The wiring is looks old too, but it looks like it might be alright. And then back here again, they won't, I can't get through this screen thing, but the air handler back here, but the ream unit outside was pretty old, so I assume that's going to need to be switched as well, but the ductwork looks alright. Other side of the basement, there's a small room here with a closet. Or, I'm sorry, small room here. Has a connected bathroom. This is kind of like a closet and a bathroom combined. Full bath, full of mold. Stand up shower. Looks like there was some kind of leaking issues. Some PVC plumbing there. Leaking issues maybe to make the ceiling full. Maybe just the mold or moisture from 
flooding in the basement. And then another good sized bedroom area. And back here, I missed it while I was back here. There is a sump pump. But as wet as it is back here, I don't know how well it worked. And that's it.